So ladies and gentlemen, watch me as I descend into the sky on my spaceship. We're all gonna have fun. I'm just loving the fact that my nails match my polka dots. It's cute, I like it. Black. I got black for Halloween and um, it was literally $42. I'm not going back to that nail place again, but it still looks good for now, I guess. And oh my God, I'm so excited because I can finally wear my tattoo. Ooh, wear my tattoo, like it's a piece of clothing. I can show my tattoo with pride and not have to cover it up with a stinking Band-Aid every single day. I still have like a little bit of a Band-Aid tan on there. So that's really cute. Oh. I cut the sleeves. They used to be long sleeves, but I was annoyed, so I cut the sleeves off. And now it's ratchet, but it's fine. Hello, people of the internet, and welcome back to my tragic show. In today's episode, we will be talking all about my experience on the Disney Cultural Exchange program that I did this year from January until September. I'm not gonna lie, it has taken me a hot minute to even film this video. I tried to film it twice before this and it was a hot mess just because I feel like I wasn't in the right headspace to start talking about it. Um, I feel like I was still really frustrated <laughs> and pissed off about the whole situation. But I think now I'm kind of at peace with it and I am ready to talk about it. Um, not the whole situation. That's gonna have to wait a few months probably. Um, just because I will get there, it's coming. It's coming. The tea is about to burst out of the kettle, sis. It is coming. I'm gonna expose everything, but that's probably not a good idea just in lieu of my current situation. So I'm gonna talk about why I left, but not for a while. But for now, I'm just gonna talk about my experience with the program and answer some questions. Please remain seated, grab a snack, settle in, because this is gonna be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. All right, I've settled down into my chair. I feel like I'm on a talk show. Hi, how are you? I've also prepared some questions because I'm professional um, just to help me talking because when I talk off the top of my head I tend to go off in tangents so yeah that's gonna help so the first question is how did I find out about the program and why did I decide to apply so I actually found out about the program like two or three years ago on Facebook I saw an ad when I was scrolling and I clicked on it and it was like, come and work at the happiest place on earth, like Disney World. I was like, oh my God, yes. Someone who at that time was not in a good space mentally and just was like hating life, that was like the golden ticket, baby. I was like, yes, sign me up. So I knew that I really wanted to do the program, but at that time I was actually like halfway through my university degree. And I really didn't want to leave in the middle of it and then come back. I just didn't feel like that was a good idea for me at that time. Um, so I decided to wait until I actually graduated my degree and then I was gonna go the year after. So question two is what was the interview process like for you? So for me, basically what happened is I applied online and then I received an email inviting me to go to a presentation and an interview in Brisbane City. I think I rocked up at about 9 a.m. on that day for the presentation. And basically what that was, was just a big group of people who were interviewing on that day. We all sat in a room and then two representatives from Disney talked to us about the program, like the logistics of things, housing, um, costs, what it was going to be like, the different kind of roles that they offered, just like all the basics that you needed to know about the program. Um, so that was really fun. I really liked that. I got really excited watching all the videos. And then after that, we had our one-on-one -on -one interviews. So there were slots for different interview times 
all throughout the day. So my slot was straight away after the presentation. I was like, I am not waiting around all day. I wanna get this done. Let me do this shit now so I'm not stressing about it all day. So basically what happened for the one-on-one -on -one interviews is we went into a building. They took two people in the room at the same time. There was two interviewers. Um, so you were sitting in the same room as someone else interviewing and you're both talking at the same time. So that was really odd. Like that was really weird. I've never experienced that before, but that's what happened. So I was interviewed by a really lovely lady named Brittany and it was a really simple, like pretty easy going interview. She just asked basic questions like, why do you want to work for Disney? What kind of roles do you think would be suitable for you? Um, my work experience and how I would do living with other people. So it was basically like a conversation, like nothing to be worried about, just a really simple interview. So then after that, they were like, cool, um, we'll let you know within probably like a week or two. And then I think a week later, I got an interview and I got into the program. Woo! Literally like best day of my life. I was so excited. Yes, I'm going to Disney. Told everyone. <laughs> yes, bitch, I made it. The next question is, what was your role and location on the program? So I actually had two locations um, and two separate roles as well. So my first role was in attractions and my location was at Spaceship Earth in Epcot. I loved it with my whole heart and my whole, like every fiber of my being. I loved working at Spaceship Earth. It was so much fun. I love every single person that worked there. Actually, that's a bit of a big statement. It's a bold statement to say I love every single person there, but 99% of the people that work there, I loved them so much. I met so many incredible pe people at Spaceship Earth, like lifelong friends. Like I have nothing bad to, s I'm gonna stop myself right there. I feel like I really grew a lot working there. I learned a lot about myself. I became a lot more confident and I feel like, yeah, I grew a lot working there. I learned a lot. I had so much fun. I literally had a ball. Because it's such a big attraction, there's so many different positions, you're always moving around, you're meeting all these different people. Um, and because it was such an old attraction, it was like breaking down all the time, or like leaking, or there was always drama with Spaceship Earth. We love her, but she's old and she is haggard. Me. Anyway, my second role was in it was under recreation, but I was a slide operator at Blizzard Beach, which is one of the water parks at Disney. I did like that. Not as much as Spaceship Earth at all. Some days I really didn't like it. Just because like the weather, it would rain all the time. We'd be outside all day. It was exhausting, but it was a really simple and easygoing job. So, you know, I didn't have complaints about it. I just really liked Spaceship Earth more than I did Blizzard Beach. The next question is, what was your housing situation like? And what were your roommates like? Oh my God, this rain, I swear to God. I lived at Chatham Square and I have no complaints about Chatham. It was a really good place to live just because it was right out front of the bus stop. So you didn't have to walk. With some of the other complexes, you would have to walk from there to Chatham to get the bus, but the bus station was right out the front for Chatham, so that was really convenient. Um, the apartments were fairly new. Like We did have some issues with like maintenance and stuff within the apartment, but I guess you'll get that wherever you go. I got really, really lucky with my roommates, and even people who I didn't live with said the same thing. I got so lucky with my roommates. I got the best people ever. We had so much fun. We all got along so well and literally had like no issues, which is really rare so i'm super lucky to have had those people um as roommates so for the first half of my program i lived with three other aussie girls brit alicia and kayla and then two girls from the netherlands marissa and demi i love them all we had so much fun together and then when marissa and demi left uh, we moved into a new apartment as well and we moved in with two girls from New Zealand, 
Brooke and Tamara and I love them as well. Like literally I love all of my roommates. So it was like a perfect situation for me. But yeah, love my roommates and love Chatham. Next question is, what is your favorite Disney park? Hands down, without a doubt, Epcot. I am an Epcot queen. I'm an Epcot fanatic. I love Epcot with every fiber of my being. I'm a big fan of Epcot. I know that I'm kind of biased because I worked there, but honestly, I loved Epcot because it was more low key and not as busy. I was not the biggest fan of Magic Kingdom. I loved Epcot. Epcot will always be my home park. Epcot stand all the way, honey. The next question is, what do you miss the most about the program? And that would have to be all of the people that I met there. I literally met people that I think I will be friends with for the rest of my life. I am so, so lucky to have had that experience because I, I truly met people who literally changed me and like impacted my life in a very, positive way. I met best friends. I fell in love. <laughs> the program just to like meet people and that was a goal of mine going into it was to meet new people and make new friends and I I'm so glad that I did it and did it at the time that I did it. Everything just lined up perfectly and I love everyone. I mean, also, I'll miss going to the parks every day for free. Getting up on your day off and being like, yeah, I might go to Magic Kingdom today. Like, it's literally crazy. Disney is like a fantasy. It was so much fun. So the next question is advice for people applying for the program. I would say definitely just apply. Have a go. You won't regret it because it literally, for me, it was the best experience of my life thus far. Yeah, just like go on different adventures when you can, do things spontaneously, do as much as you can, make the most of it, do, but do what you wanna do. Don't like force yourself to go to parks every single day if that's not what you're wanting to get out of the program. Make sure that you do what you wanna do. Hi, welcome back. Um, we had a bit of an intermission, but it's all good now. Yeah, we had to take a break because one, the rain, was so loud that I couldn't hear myself think. Two, uh, I had to brush my hair, reapply my lipstick, and blow some snot out of my nose because, and three, I had to drink a shit ton of coffee to keep up with myself, so. But question number eight is, what's next for you after the Disney college program? Um, That's a great question. I literally have no idea what I wanna do in the distant future. I can't think about that right now because every time I try and think about it, I stress myself out to the point of no return. So for right now, I'm just looking for a job. I'm really interested in the tourism and like hotel management, theme parks, all of that stuff. So that's something I'm like looking into at the moment, but I literally have no idea. Um, all I know is that I'm young and I wanna travel the world, see everything there is to see, do everything there is to do make the most of being young and dumb. So that's probably what I'm gonna be doing. I have literally no idea. Spreading love. And the last question that I have here is, any funny memories from your program? Honestly, there are so many, it's not even funny. Like, oh, There's literally a funny memory from every single day. <laughs> Uh, okay, there's a few from work, but from Spaceship Earth. This one day, uh, the costume that we wore had like a zip down the middle. Um, that's how you would like put it on. And the zip had like a little ring on it that you could use to easily zip up the shirt. Anyway, I was sitting in this room and I was so hot. I was like, stop this and ripped my shirt down and the ring ripped off and I was like, um, are you kidding me? So I tried to like pull the little toggle thing that was still on the shirt back up and it wouldn't zip up. It like broke off in half like that. I was choking. I was like, oh, what do I do? My tits were out. They were like out of their sockets. So I ripped the shirt. I like held the shirt together, ran to the break room and I was like, hi, um, I need serious help. 
I just thought that was hilarious. One of my best friends from the program, his name's Dan, and he's also from Australia. This one time he wore heels on the turntable. <laughs> There's like a moving turntable at Spaceship Earth that we would walk on while we were like loading guests into the ride. And one night he asked our coordinator if he could wear <laughs> heels to close on the turntable changed my life it's like my last night at spaceship earth before i moved over to blizzard beach so that was the best day ever i loved that day so much oh my god i witnessed a kid get their head stuck in an automatically closing door um that was shocking anyway it got to a certain point where like the doors were about to close and literally right before they close, this kid reaches down to grab his hat that he just dropped. I was like, no, 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 no. He does it anyway. And the doors are literally like on his head and it was stuck. I was like, how does this happen one? And how is this happening while I'm at load three, two? I don't even know. Literally my coordinator called me and was like, so what just happened? Like, why has the ride stopped? I was like, um, so a kid got his head stuck in a door. And then she was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so funny. There's so many funny moments. I have so many funny memories. That's all the questions that I have. In conclusion, no, that's gross. I just wanted to say to anyone that is considering doing the program, 100% do it. It's so worth it. It was the best time of my life. I had a blast. I met lifelong friends. I met amazing people who literally changed my life. I had so much fun. I grew as a person. I'm literally a different person to when I first started. I feel like I gained so much self-confidence. And that's not to say that like, I'm so up myself. I'm so hot. No, I gained like confidence from within knowing that I finally got to a place where I knew that I was relatively good at my job for once. I wasn't an idiot who didn't know what they were doing. I mean, I was for a very long time, but I finally got to a place where I was like, okay, I'm like decent at this job. You know, I feel good about myself and I feel comfortable working and confident in what I'm doing. And I really enjoyed myself and I was able to meet people from all over the world which was incredible and like share stories share culture i was able to go to the parks whenever i wanted i was able to turn 21 and drink my way around the world in epcot and then throw up twice in two separate bathrooms even if you're not like a big disney fan because personally before i came i wasn't a big Disney fan like I like Disney but I wasn't like one of those hardcore Disney people who knew all the lyrics to all the songs watched all the movies I just kind of wanted a chance to get away and experience living somewhere new and honestly it was so much fun so I seriously recommend doing it and yeah live your life girl do what you gotta do and that is all I have for this video so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to see more let me know uh, I'm a mess, but it's okay. Everyone is. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!